When I tell you this is not normal, I mean it. It is Monday, October 14th, Indigenous Peoples Day, and I have work today. They took away that vacation from us, but I'm guessing some other offices have off because this area is usually filled and now it's just there's like four cars parked here so that's interesting and then I was just thinking for a moment I was like we had this day off when it was Columbus Day but when people started calling it Indigenous Peoples Day suddenly they took it away from us I might be reading more into that than I should but hmm Yes, that was me uh, putting my calendar over to October, on the 14th of October, because, <laughs> to be fair, I was not in office at the beginning of October, and then last week when I came back to the office, I was more in a getting back into the swing of things mode, and that did not apparently include switching my calendar. So, I did that today. You know, I've been in, like, in this weird space with decorating for this season like I made this TikTok about how I like to do it at the beginning of September and I do and it probably was because you know I was excited for Disney so didn't really even get into it my disinterest in decorating is like a, a malaise of post Disney vacation and not actual depression I don't know so what I did today, because I had convinced myself, there's no point in decorating. It's already like after the beginning of October. If you didn't do it by September, what's the point now? You only have like a month and a half. Because usually I'll start decorating September. And then those decorations stay up usually till, like the Halloween ones stay up until October 31st. And then I take down the Halloween ones. And then I just have the fall Thanksgiving themed ones up. But I had a moment of... Does it really even matter? And then I realized, yes, it does to me. Um, at home, my family, my husband and my daughter did actually put up some stuff. And it doesn't look bad. Doesn't look like it looked good either. <laughs> they didn't use all the pumpkins. So I want to do the cupcake stand and mount, maybe I'll use the rest of the pumpkins. Maybe. I realized something that especially at my office where it's a gray box basically like it's an, it's an office of various shades of gray I could never have a home with millennial gray ever 
I, I can't do sad beige mom aesthetic. I can't do all white. I can't do beige because I work in an office. That's office aesthetic. Everything is gray. <laughs> Adding color to it definitely lifted my mood. Adding some character to my cubicle definitely lifted my mood. So I'm glad I forced myself to do it because it did like, you know, give me a sense of something. <laughs> Like, I don't think we're lacking in any full spirit. Like, we got to experience Disney in fall. We went to Halloween Haunt Nights. And that's like, that, that was like our big, like, haunted house thing. Will we do any more this year? I don't know. I kind of don't feel like we should. On the other hand, I kind of want to take Genevieve to Eastern State Penitentiary because it's really cool. But also, I don't want to do anything that excludes Sebastian. So, just a lot to think about. <laughs> and then we tried, like, we tried to go to Lynn Villa over the weekend, and that was just crazy because it was super crowded. It was a great day. It was a nice day. Everybody thought that. I think a lot of it also had to do with there's stuff happening at work this month, so there's a part of me that's like, oh, I can't get excited about Halloween because this happens before it and that happens before it, and I have to focus on that. And then, oh, there's no point in getting excited for Thanksgiving because that happens before it and that happens before it. So, uh, I don't know. These are all the things I probably should talk to my therapist about, right? Right? The holidays feel weird this year. I don't know why exactly. Huh. Huh. Like, is it me? Is it my depression kicking in? Like, is that it? Or is it just, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. But is the tired also the depression? I don't know. Oh, there's also the fact what's really bothered me, and it's such an insignificant, stupid thing. But usually in October, we'll watch horror movies, because tis the season. And, well, obviously we're in Disney when October started, so we weren't going to watch horror movies because we were exhausted by the time we were done with the parks and we fell asleep. This week we really haven't, last week we really didn't watch anything specifically. Like, we, we caught up other things. We were, watch, were watching The Penguins, we caught up on that. Uh, we were watching um, Rings of Power, we caught up on that. And he found the movie Meet Joe Black and he wanted to watch it and we've been trying for the past, like, two days to watch it because the first day where he was like, hey, I want to watch this movie, I fell asleep like after 10 minutes. Um, and then yesterday we were watching it and we got <coughs> probably 30 minutes into it and he didn't take his morning meds till like later in the day. So he had a headache because his blood pressure is the type where if he doesn't take his medication, he feels it. <laughs> and so he was out for the count. I watched Tremors with Genevieve instead, and that was an experience because she's she's really iffy about anything that's PG-13. Like, she thinks if it's PG-13, it equals sex. And she's, like, a little bit prudish. Like, she doesn't even want to watch people kissing. She thinks it's yucky, which is fine. She can keep that mindset. Whatever. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah, don't, don't get into any of that. But... I told her, no, it's PG-13 mostly because death. <laughs> and that's also kind of squeamish to her. She doesn't want to see those types of movies usually. But the thing about Tremors is that it's not exactly a horror movie. <coughs> it's a monster movie. But it's a monster movie in the same way that Jurassic Park is a monster movie. Where, yes, there's things that are chasing you and eating you. Uh, but it has very upbeat music. <laughs> so it feels very action adventure -y more than horror. And we watched it. She was reading at first, but she was there. And then eventually she started paying attention. And she was like, this is the only horror movie I've ever enjoyed. And that was amusing for that. She's into the more uh, whimsical stuff. Like, I don't know what you would classify Hocus Pocus as. It's definitely a Halloween movie. It's not a horror movie. It's... You know, it's a fantasy, fantastical movie. There are bad guys. Yes, you're getting chased by witches that want to eat you, but not exactly a monster movie. Um, she, she loves that. Hocus Pocus and Hocus Pocus 2 are her jam this year. 
she's <laughs> last year when Hocus Pocus 2 came out I made her watch Hocus Pocus 1 because I was excited for Hocus Pocus 2 because I thought it was gonna be about the, like the book if you didn't know there was a book that came out that takes that's like a true sequel like it it's those characters as adults and then their children the movie nothing like that so I was super disappointed only because I was expecting a certain thing she loved it absolutely loved it it's apparently her favorite I prefer the first one but whatever those are the types of movies she likes <laughs> so tonight we're gonna try to watch meet Joe Black <laughs> again I guess that's kind of like Halloween themed in a way because it's about death death deciding hey I'm going to uh, inhabit the body of this dead person and you show me around and keep my interest and then when we're done I take you with me to dead land dead land um, I don't know where he found that movie <laughs> He said he'd never heard of it before. I remember hearing about Meet Joe Black. I just never watched it. And he was saying something about how I accidentally had him watch a Hallmark movie because there was a Hallmark movie called Before You Say I Do. And I didn't realize it was a Hallmark movie because all I read was the plot. And the plot is guy gets engaged to woman, but she's been married before. So she gets cold feet and tells him she can't do it. And then he tries to stop her from running away, but shenanigans happen and he ends up going back in time. He loves time travel movies, so I'm like, oh, this is his thing. <laughs> and then it starts and it's like a Hallmark movie production. And I was like, oh no, <laughs> I've been tricked. <laughs> Tell you what, it was, it was more action packed than any Hallmark movie I've ever seen before. I don't think it was that bad. It had its moments where I was like, this is dumb. But <laughs> it wasn't that, it's it's in my top like, my top three, well actually only like two of them. My top two um, Hallmark movies. It's number two. <laughs> uh, Single Santa Seeking Mrs. Claus is number one. That's number one development. He even said that we should be watching horror movies, so he feels it too. Current state of the peninsula. Ow. Tragic. Ow. Space right now. No. It has to be out of the way. I... Now you should put them on the bottom too, otherwise what's going to go on the bottom? Those things are just filler. They're not meant to be there as like decoration. <coughs> Um, it's just, that's just mommy's weird collection of, <laughs> thank you. I helped. You did help. A lot. A lot, yes. So you're... Mm -hmm. All right, well, there. <laughs> oh, what's, how does it taste like hot dog with mac and cheese? I don't know. So there, my little yeah. pumpkin utopia. I helped. She helped. I helped. <laughs> So that's basically <laughs> decorating. Like, I put other stuff around. It's fine. It's fine. Next year, maybe I'll be more focused. But the one thing I haven't done this year is I told myself I'd buy one pumpkin a year because I like pumpkins. Mm. I like to decorate with pumpkins. <laughs> mm. He did put some pumpkins out. And I agree with most of the placement except for this one. <laughs> Let me show you this. I don't agree with this. This pumpkin clearly doesn't belong here, but he put it there. I'm gonna leave it there. Cause he did it. So anyway, I told myself one pumpkin a year. Get away. Don't eat that. And this year so far I haven't found a pumpkin quite handsome enough to tempt me. So Maybe about to look harder. I don't know. When we were at um, Big Lots, they did have like this little like like a tiny Dutch oven, but not a Dutch oven. It was just like a little 
cauldron type thingy that was in the shape of a pumpkin it had a lid and it was cute and I was like oh I could buy this and then I was like am I just buying this because it's on sale and it's a pumpkin and not actually because I want it and I eventually came to that so I put it back <laughs> so now not quite handsome enough to tempt me so maybe maybe I can get to like TJ Maxx or something and maybe they'll have pumpkins still I don't know they might have gone over the Christmas by now who knows